this is what Sydney's about. This is what Sydney's made up of. I, don't, I want to introduce you guys to Walid Yassin. And he's a good mate of mine. His brother, Talal, who's his older brother, there's a whole heap of them. He's also a real good friend of mine. And he's here to show us around tonight. Mate, you were telling me you blew me away. What is the history of this joint? How did it start? Uh, this festival started like 10 or 15 years ago. Some guy rolled out a barbecue and uh, started to flip some patties. And some guys would come and eat later on in the evening. And then, lo and behold, a few more guys rolled out a few more barbecues. And, uh, you know, there wasn't any approvals. It was, it was kind of just casual. Uh, and slow and steady, it just, it just kept growing until, you know, the authorities were like, hey, do you guys have any approvals here? And, and, and there's a fair few guys walking up and down the street eating. And slow and steady, it got that big that uh, there was no option but to... Uh, to formalise it and, and council created a festival out of it. It's a big, it's pretty mad. I mean, I just, I took yeah. me at least five minutes to walk down from the pub, the Lakemba Hotel down to here, and it's not that far, maybe it's 200 metres, lucky. Yeah. Um, at least five, maybe 10 minutes it took me to sort of weave my way through everybody. And it's sort of a quite a, a festive feeling. What, what do you think this does for the Islamic community in terms of representing representing them? You know, how do you feel that this represents the Islamic community? Just kind of opens that up a little bit. You know, what you don't know, you typically uh, fear. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I think, you know, with food, uh, family environment, you can see it's very welcoming. Different cultures, yeah, yeah. young, old, people with pets, people, uh, you know, couples, young, old couples. And, and, and so when you kind of open that up a little bit, you kind of tend to see that, hey, you know what, <laughs> these guys are just fasting all month. They're normal guys going about their life. They run businesses. They they have a you know a culture and a vibe just like everyone else. And I think it's it's quite important that it, it it kind of tries to balance a little bit of the unbalanced representation of what Muslims are. Like in a geographical sense, like people from Lebanon or Arabic people, they actually have traditions of welcoming welcoming in a stranger. They're, they're, and and this feels like it's very welcoming to me. Like feels like anybody can come here, yeah. but unless. You know, I had made a decision to talk to you actually to come here. Um, I probably would not have come here, and I, I got surprised in my life, like uh, how vibrant and energetic it is. And and you're right, it's it's got everybody. Like people just sitting around, hanging out, looking on their phones, kids drinking, you know, colourful drinks. Every little small business is open. Yes. There's thousands of them up and down the street. Like they're everywhere. Correct me if I'm wrong. You were brought up around these I, areas. I grew right? up around this area, so I used to walk up this street every yes. single day of my life yep. until I was 17. Yep. And I used to, and up the top there, across the road from the pub, there was a, a, a shop on the corner which my um, cousin owned, and it was a, a Greek chocolate shop, and uh, yep. and they used to make uh, hot chips and hamburgers there as well. Yep. In the summer and winter, always had something there for me to feed me, and I never paid for a thing. Every time I stood there, they'd come out with, some, come on Mark, come on in, so, and she would say, fey, 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 which means eat in Greek. Yep. Come on, come on in, come in, so, ella, ella, do, ella, yep. do, come in, fey, fey, fey. <laughs> And uh, I know I can see Jono on the other side of the camera, and Jono, who's, uh, he knows exactly what I'm talking about when he hear hello, 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 fey, fey, fey. He's laughing his head off. <laughs> he knows exactly what I mean. Well, yeah. let's, go and, let's go and meet this chap. Let's go and talk let's, to let's him. Let's go and do it. Yeah. When I stand around here and I feel the energy that's coming out of this, well, this event, know. this is a real event, a real festival, um, for me, I'd like to see, it'd be just great if we get this energy into most districts, so not in every street and every suburb, but in most districts in Sydney, or in Australia for that matter. I mean, we, getting the community together is so important. I, I, just, I, I just can't explain how energised I feel as a result of being here. It's unbelievable. Hey, champion. How you going, Abdul? I can't believe this. You're yeah. the dude. I can tell me. Can you tell me the story? Like yeah. So yeah, so it started pretty much 15 years ago. Yeah. Um, myself, my partner Yasser. Yep. And uh, Muhammad. Um, pretty much just started with a little barbecue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just an intention, pretty much, just to get back to the, uh, to the community. Um, during, so, during Ramadan, though. During Ramadan. Yeah, yeah. Um, we just pretty much we didn't even start with camel. We started with uh, skewers and just beef and chicken burgers. I can't believe the life that is that exists in this street like tonight. And to be honest, you must feel fantastic because we, we, honestly, we do. Like, because you, you, cr you sort of created it. To us, it feels like, like this is our legacy, um, and to see like different mix of cultures, nationalities, religions, and it probably takes away the uh, people that never entered Lakemba before. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. What they used to think about Lakemba, or what they used to think about probably uh, uh, Islam in general, or yeah, a Muslim yeah. person. 
now, like you see people, people meet a line. So you'll see people like, turn around to each other, and they'll start shaking hands. Yeah, yeah. Button. It's, it's, good. it's great for us to see. And that's and real it's community. 100%. 100%. I mean, I'm dying to taste one. Can I try one? Yeah, of course you get Is that possible? Yeah, of course we'll get you one here. Yeah. And then we've got to, we've got to, you've got to watch you try this. <laughs> I'm go, I know it's going to be good because the line is about 100 metres long and uh, the poor guys here working behind it, they're working their, their butts off, they're going hard. All right, here we go. Oh, yum. No, I'm not cleaning it up. How good is that? That's really good. So, that's what the meat looks like. Just looks like normal meat to me. I'm going to taste it on its own. Great, really good, really, good. it really is good. Hey, champion, you all right? Let's get a photo. It's, it's unreal. Tastes, tastes awesome. In my mind, anyway, this is what real legends are made of. People who never, you know, I know lots of, you know, other people, corporate side, but, but you guys are legends. You've created something that's unbelievable. No, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy I came tonight. What about he said 70,000 people here last Friday? 70,000. Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I, think, I think it's just the, there's a lack of family friendly nightlife. Yeah, yeah. In Sydney. There should be more. There should be more of this. Like, like basically, it's, it's a very safe environment. Uh, it's not, you're not in the city, it's not, not, not alcohol driven. Um, we may not be suitable after a certain hour where it's time to pack up and go home. Um, and I think, I think that's what's really drawing the people. This is what Sydney's about. This is what Sydney's made up of, you know, different cultures. And, and you've got to go and enjoy it, not sit back and knock it, not sit back and try and cancel it. And it's just, it's just as much as yours yeah. as it is, for example, here as a Muslim. Correct. Or just as much as, you know, the Valley, uh, you know, as, as the community yeah. as it is for a particular faith. Yeah. And so on and so forth. Yeah, so yeah. It, it's one of these things where it's not, it's not siloed for one community. Correct. Yeah. We, can we talk about inclusiveness. This is the best example of inclusive. They're inclu it's including everybody. Because this has just got the same festive feeling as you might get in any other place in the world where they're drinking pints of lager. It's just the same feeling. Well, well Ed, I, I, I'm really grateful for you to take the time out to host me and my team um, at this event. To be able to, probably really the highlight for me is introducing me to Abdul and his partner, um, Yasser. Uh, that's so good. Uh, it's probably one of the best things I've experienced in a long time, particularly coming out of the back of COVID. You know, like uh, we haven't been able to get together for such a long time. And uh, it's really great to see you again. And um, what a great event for me to do that. Glad you enjoyed it. All the best there. Thank you. Cheers.